The time has come for my last mow of the project lawn. It's been a fun process this year to work on a, of something else and see the progress throughout the season. And so next year I would basically do the exact same process as we just did. And I have a playlist made for this. So if you're just getting on board, you wanna see some minimal inputs on a yard that can improve things without going too crazy at all that would be the playlist you want to check out. So I will have that available for you, a link down in the description if you want to check that out. It's time now for the final mow for me of the project lawn. There will probably be a few more mows yet in the season. My neighbor will take over from there as far as mowing goes. I'm just doing one last time here to see if we can add a few stripes to this thing. Uh, I'm gonna pull out the Time Master today. I'm going to pull out the lawn striping little kit that I have for it and we'll see what it looks like. I also want to talk about how to stripe around some objects. I got a few questions on that recently and I don't think I've really touched on that. So if you have a tree or something in your yard and you want to stripe so that it looks like the stripes go straight through instead of around it, we're going to do our best today to try to show that as well. So all right, so I had one set of stripes done. I decided to move to a double set. This one going in a diagonal pattern, and this will help me to show you the actual striping around the tree slightly better. There's more room to work here. Right, so you can see a light stripe here that I had mowed previously going towards actually my house across the street. And then I'm coming back now towards the tree. Main thing that you do not want to do is go back into the stripes that you've already made. So as I come up to the tree, I'm going to go around it the opposite way and never go back into the stripes that I've already made. You'll see now as I'm going back in the other direction that I have a dark stripe and I don't want to go back into that one either so I'm going back around the tree in the exact same way that I've already cut it but this is so that we don't go back into our pattern again and we don't mess up any of those previous stripes that we've already made. Now coming back at the tree again you will see that I'm going the exact same direction I've already cut not going back into any of those stripes and we're almost to the point where we are through the obstacle and we will match up our stripes on the other side. Now you'll see this final light colored stripe that is going past the tree now, and now we are clear of the tree. We've went through the obstacle as far as the appearance looks, and we just had to go around in one direction and not go back into any of our previous stripes. that is the project lawn and there's a couple things that I want to touch on here. One, that striping kit does a pretty good job and it's not too much of a pain to use on the back of the mower. There's one thing that I do enjoy about it the most is that it is removable. I know that sounds kind of weird like you would want to use it at all times but there are certain situations where you want to kind of just mow through something. You don't really want to roll over the grass every single time, at least for me. So I love that that thing is just a little hook. You just take it right off of there and it's easy to remove, easy to put back on. You can even go do your perimeter passes where you want to go back and forth with the mower and back up a lot. And then you can put the striping kit on after that and it works really well that way. The second thing would be where do we go on this lawn if you want to go even farther than we did this season. This was just a project to me kind of bare bones, do some minimal inputs and see what would happen and we had great results with that. So the most important thing going into next season again is crabgrass and weed preventer at the beginning of the season. I have a video on that in this series back in I believe it was May. We started slightly late with this one this year but when soil temps get to around 55 next season then go ahead and get your crabgrass preventer on at that point. That made a huge difference in this lawn this year. Last year it was overrun with weeds by midsummer and crabgrass 
And so one, mowing it taller this season helped it a lot. And two, that crabgrass preventer helped immensely to remove all of those weeds before they got started and before they could take over during the summer season. Going forward, what you will probably want to get into would be overseeding in next season's fall time. So go through next season, follow the same type of plan, just removing weeds as you see them, spot spraying, getting your pre-emergent on, and proper fertilization. So once you're on your second season, you probably feel more comfortable with trying different things, and that is when most people would feel comfortable getting into the overseeding process. I have a video from this season on that step-by-step, all-in-one video that you can check out. So if you wanna understand that process, get yourself ready for it for next season, that is available as well. But that's really the way that I improved my existing turf that I had before I kind of did some major renovations at my house was the overseeding process. And this lawn isn't extremely thin by any means that we have here on the project, but it could benefit from some overseeding, but you have to be committed to doing that whole process and then committed to the irrigation part of it after it. And so that is something to look into if you're interested in moving this lawn to the next level. I've been kind of considering what I'm going to do for some kind of other lawn next season. I'll still plan to be working on the bigger project lawn, the massive one that we have, the two acres. Uh, so that one will be something that we're going to continue. And I still don't know exactly what I'm going to tackle next season, but I'm sure I'll come up with something. Just looking for some variety of things. So we'll see what happens. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We'll see you next time.